have we here? King Henry. Uh, number 12 on the list at NFL's top. He scored 2,000 yards. Eight NFL running backs ever. I remember. Oh, wow. Well. Sorry, guys. Um, Wowee. You wouldn't have heard any of that. I'm going to say it all again. I'm going to try and remember what I said. I said, uh, What's up, guys? Welcome back to yet another video. Today, we look at King Derek Henry, uh, running back for the Titans, number 12 on the top 100 players in 2022. I'm led to believe last year he got number 4. So, you know, pretty consistent. And to think that he's still in the top 12... As voted by his peers, even though he was taken out of the game halfway through the season, that's something else. He scored 2,000 yards in 2020. I thought, I thought, look, you know, I, I would have put my house on it. I've only got one house. I probably wouldn't have bargained that. But I would have put, I would have put 1,000 bucks on it that he was going to get 2,000 yards again. Through seven games, he had 900 and something yards. I thought, you know what, this guy is going to be the first man ever in history. To score 2,000 yards in two NFL seasons. Not only that, two back-to-back -back seasons. It didn't happen. He got injured the next game. Um, so, there you go, guys. I've pretty much said exactly what I said before. Uh, again, did I do well? Maybe not. Either way, there's only one way to get into this video, and that's to start it. Let's go. And I'm like... He is a scary sight, and he's got a tiger's tail coming out of his fucking helmet. Yeah, he's about my same size. <laughs> I am like, geez, should have been a running back. He changed the game of a running back. Oh, I will say, mate, there's a lot of... Oh, what are we going to see here? Oh, this is not... This is, um... This is some, uh... This is some real NFL-type contact here. Who wants to make a business decision? Like hitting the tight end and... Hitting a tight end with a, a 4-5, 4 40-yard dash, I'm going to say. A foot injury forced King Henry to abdicate his rushing crown. Mm. But despite... But, and I know exactly what they're going to say here, despite only playing you know, eight or nine games, he still was ranked rather highly on the list of the 2021 season rushing leader. Playing in only eight games, Henry finished ninth in the league with 937 league. yards and scored 10 touchdowns. Wowee. 937 yards, 10 touchdowns, ninth in the league. <sighs> he was going to get 2,000 again. Look, all I can say is that the man is, um, he's pummeled. He is, he's given attempt after attempt after attempt. I mean, uh... I'm going to say that the human body can only withstand so many seasons doing that, right? That's the kind of thing that you guys would tell me earlier earlier in the piece, you know, a couple of years back when I said that, you know, a running back could go forever. Well, they can't. They can't go forever. But um, all I can hope is that he uh, he's healthy, happy, and plays the entire 2022 season. Give Henry on the right side. Looking for him. Cuts back to the left. To the 10. To the 5. Henry turns it up. Runs it. I mean, he's the closest thing that the NFL's had to the to the to the late great Jonah Lomu of rugby. And if you don't know who Jonah Lomu is, look him up. Have a look at his best plays. Have a look at his best tries. Have a look at the way that he absolutely manhandles defenses like no one else. And there's been no one since. Um, he tragically died at 40 years of age through a kidney disease. Um, Got a transplant. It didn't last. He died at 40. An absolute tragedy. Say no more. Diggs, touchdown, tight! Run left, run right. The king runs where he wants. The king goes where the king wants. Teams probably have their own individual periods on. Ain't that right? This is how we're going to tackle The king this goes where the king wants. Oh! Oh! Just never know how to when we played against him, no, um... He should have kept with that that uh, that left foot step. He would have.
got right around him. But, um, well, either way, guys, look, there's only one thing to do, and that's to look at his stats. Nick Minnett. Derek Lamar Henry Jr. is 28 years of age, January 4th, 1994. Six foot three, 247 pounds. Went to Alabama from 2013 to 15. I'm not surprised. Got picked up in the second round of the 2016 draft. Pick number 45. The Tennessee Titans picked him up and they've still got him. He must have been in the league for six years. Offensive player of the year. NFL offensive player of the year in 2020 after scoring the 2,000 yards. Uh, Two-time pro bowler, 2019 and 2020. So it seems he's he's really come into his own uh, since 2019. Two-time NFL rushing yards leader in 2019 and 2020. Two-time NFL rushing touchdowns leader in both 2019 and 2020. National champion with Alabama in 2015. I mean, are we surprised? Heisman Trophy winner in 2015. I mean, I've seen all this before, but it, it you know, <laughs> all these reactions, all these videos, it, it, it does it does escape me. You know, it does escape me. But at the end of the day, he's a Heisman Trophy winner as a running back. So he's doing the thing. He's doing the thing. Dope Walker Award. The one guy I think of when I think of the Dope Walker Award is Jonathan Taylor. And you know what? Let's give them the respect to actually see who's won it. Because I'm going to say Saquon's going to be on that list. Uh, Jonathan Taylor got it twice. Three! No, sorry. I was about to say three times. Okay, so Derek Henry in 2014. Okay, so Derek Henry in 2015. Deonta Foreman. I don't know who the hell that is in 2016. Bryce Love. Sounds good, but I don't know who he is in 2017. Jonathan Taylor in 2018 and 2019. Najee Harris in 2020. And Kenneth Walker III in 2021. Now, that is a name that I'm assuming we'll see in the league this year, but it's not a name I know yet. So, uh, that's interesting. Either way... Uh, okay, yeah, no, no, that's right. Yeah, so... I remember making this call last year, um, and the year before, to be fair. Derek Henry not only scored 2,000 yards a season in high school, he scored 2,000 yards in a season in college, and then goes into the NFL and scores 2,000 yards in a season there too. So he is, is he the only, he's got to be the only player that scored 2,000 in each of high school, college, and the NFL. And, and, and look, he didn't just score 2,000. <laughs> he scored 4,261 yards in his final high school season. What the... A <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> 2465, 2788, 2610, and 4261. Bringing his career high school statistic totals. 48 games played, 12,124 yards, averaging 8.7 per attempt. Two, an average over every single one of those 48 games of 252.6 yards. And a rushing touchdown total of 153. That is unfathomable. That is unthinkable. That's Derek Henry. And actually, having a look at this, he, he clocked a personal best time of 11.11 seconds in the 100 meter dash. I mean, what is he? What did he? He ran a 4.54 in the 40 yard dash, clocking, you know, around that 11 mark, probably 10.9, 10.8 on a good day. I'm going to say a 40 yard dash, he, he'd get 4.4 four something. And when you think about a guy who's 6 foot 3, 250 pounds, running a 4.48, 4.49, 40 yard dash. Um, 37 inches on the vertical, 10 foot 10 on the broad jump, 22 reps on the bench. Well, he's a phenom. And look, I, I need to run through these stats. All right, he came to Alabama, played 10 games, didn't start every single game, 382 rushing yards. 2014, you'd think that that would be a stellar season, right? 14 games played, 990 yards, 11 rushing touchdowns. But then we come to his junior season, which was the season that upped his draft stocks that much that uh, he won the Doak Walker Award, he won the Heisman, and he declared for the 2016 draft. 15 games played, 395 rushing attempts, 2,219 rushing yards, and an average of 5.6, 28 rushing touchdowns. <laughs> I wish I was watching college football in 2015. That's all I can say. Uh, we won't worry as bad as receiving yards, but a 39-game Alabama college football career 
brought 3,591 rushing yards, averaging six per attempt, 42 rushing touchdowns. <sighs> it's absolutely unbelievable. Either way, here we go. Let's have a look at his, his latest deal. That's what I want to know. Did, when did he sign his... When did he sign his... Because if, if it was in 2019, he did. He signed a four-year, $50 million contract on March 16th, 2020, prior to the 2020 year, winning Offensive Player of the Year, getting 2,000 yards, and all the rest of it. 2021 injury shortened season. It is what it is. Still got the ninth most rushing yards during the season. And I'm going to say, I'm going to say that after this coming season, if he makes at least a thousand rushing yards, he is going to be a 20 to 25 million dollar per year running back, and he deserves it. 86 total NFL games played, 6,797 yards. 65 rushing touchdowns and look if we just look at uh 29 well would you would you look at that 2019 he he signed his new deal no no that's 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 not correct okay so he had a he had a stellar year in 2019 1540 yards and the tennessee titans decided to re-sign him for four more years for 50 million dollars they didn't quite know what they had on their hands but now they do either way guys let's get back to the video what are you Threw me out the club for about 10 yards. Just show how powerful he is. <laughs> well, yeah. I've him four he's yards. Not so cheap. much power behind his pads. I always say, man, he's a defensive end playing running back. Rock him, sock him, robots. Well, you got a six foot two, 235 pound linebacker going against a six foot three, on a good day, six foot four, 250 pound running back. And that's what happens. You got speed and you got a nasty steel form as well. Oh, this the stiff game. arm's ridiculous. Oh, look, I feel, need a I, feel, I feel bad for these guys, the stiff honestly. Arm is definitely a big part of I don't think that, that wasn't the biggest one. We're going to see. Oh, yeah, yeah, nice. Just swap them away Henry. with ease. What have we got here? Yeah, another one. Get away from me. Get off me, son. Josh yeah, gives Josh Allen a, a bit of what for. A lot of people, you know, they see the power, you know, they, they're, they see the stiff arms, but Derek is fast. I haven't seen anyone catch him. If he breaks along, they're not catching him. See, this is an interesting point. You think like, ah, oh, he ain't gonna be that fast. Maybe the film just like looking different, but in the game, man, straight line speed is for real. <laughs> for real, for real. Here's Derrick Henry trying to get the big guy going, and he's going. Oh boy, splits oh, them, and him. see you later. Derrick Henry, 76 yards. Oh, look, he's seen it all before. He got 4,000 yards in a season in high school. He got 2,000 yards at Adelaide. About... <laughs> Sorry, guys. Sorry, let me let me do that again. I don't normally include my bloopers, but <laughs> I'm just getting so so fucking into this man. He's one of my favourite players, King Henry. Look, 4,000 yards in high school, 2,000 yards in uh, in college, and, and 2,000 yards in the NFL. He he joins the likes of uh, what? Did Adrian Peterson do it? I don't know. Did Barry Sanders do it? I'm pretty sure he did. But there is one man I know who definitely did it, and that's CJ2K, Chris Johnson who still holds the record for the fastest clocked NFL Combine 40-yard dash. Either way, guys. <laughs> Taylor Lewan loves it, and so do I. Thank you so much for being here. That was an absolute cracker. I hope you've enjoyed. I've probably talked way too much, but for those of you who are still here, for those of you who do enjoy my opinions my feedback even though you know i'm not a football player really and i've only uh, yeah i've only been watching it for so many years look i fucking love it and um i know you guys do too so thank you and i'll see you in the next one to check out i have no idea who but i will have a wee look miles garrett one of the best get offs in football there he is <sighs> the man with the biggest arms in the nfl thanks for watching and peace out